Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Power and Revolution with our North Korea playthrough, episode two of the series. All right, we are still very early in the game, so there's always a lot to do in the beginning of the game, a lot of meetings to set up, um, you know, things to look over. So taxation was something I wanted to take a look at here and see what we're taxing. So company tax is terrible. Employer social security payments is terrible. We're going to see if we can mess with those. Meanwhile, well done. You have just signed your That's fine. I inform you that we have removed sir. All right, we removed suspects from the file, so we must have updated this. All right, so we just got that guy under surveillance again. And there we are, a new year, a new life. First things first, I decided to send everything flying, buddy, and change the internet service provider that's been driving me crazy with all the lagging. You have no idea how good it feels and how it changes your life. Okay. Yeah, the ICT, uh, ICT, so that's something we wanted to upgrade. I think that's under the media. Yeah, super high speed optic. Oh, we don't even have any broadband internet, nothing? Hmm. Hundred and eighty-six million. It's gonna cost us a lot. Let's just hold off on that. We have obtained some information on this terror suspect. I urge you. Okay. Really, we already obtained information on that was quick. Saw a violent film. Well that's not really. Alright. No thanks. My ultra can't take it. Alright, well how about a alright, how about this? Make me come here to hear you discussing your favorite. Oh, Russia's a little... All right, well, let's just do... Let's just go ahead and sell him. So what's he want here? He's probably want... He probably wants coal. No, he produces plenty of coal. All right, what can we sell him? Chemical industry. That was something we had a lot of. Oh, he's got a larger chemical industry. Um, Beef? 16 million. We're going to hold off on that. Bottled water. Building housing and roadway. Doesn't have a larger consumption. Cement. Cereals. Doesn't have a larger consumption. Right? Yeah. We already did our computer hardware. Sold that. Copper. Cotton. Oh, uh, okay. We can do cotton. He actually actually purchased it at almost 1900. So let's start off at 22. 14. Yeah, we're not going to. No. No, we're going to get you higher than that. Higher than that. Okay, we could probably get one more. No. <sighs> Should have took that one. All right, let's try that again. We get back up to 18 at least. Seventeen. Eighteen thirty-four. Sure. We'll accept that. Thirty-five million. It's not a lot, but it's a it's something. Alright, how about zinc? Alright. Wood you no, you got a lot of wood, which you would. You would <laughs> An unintentional pun. Um, okay, tobacco, 204 million. All right, he purchased that a pretty large amount. We can get that up to, let's see what we can get this for. 347, 360, it's a little bit better. 37, I think we can squeeze. Okay, I would definitely do that. That's above his average purchase price. 248 million, we'll accept that. Perfect, so we just sold him a bunch of tobacco. Oh, so they actually don't got a lot of tobacco production in Russia, huh? Synthetic fibers? No. Sugar? Oh, uh, we don't have enough steel. Yeah, they produce plenty of steel. Soda. Soda is supposedly something that we produce a lot of, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Sheep. 
rice. We have a lot of rice. He does have a higher consumption, but he's not interested. Railway construction. Nope. Okay. Potatoes was another thing. Which we can sell and get 294 million worth. Maybe we can even sell him a million potatoes. Oh, we don't have enough. We've only got enough to sell about that much. 572. Let's see if we can get pretty close to that. 529. 551. 532. Did it go down? Oh, he actually accepted a 586. 352 million. Awesome. All right, so we're going to end our meeting. All right, that was pretty good contracts. We'll be able to see that reflect in our budget here um, once we tick over. Hopefully, we'll see the deficit and percentage of the GDP drop. I want to see, let's see, we've got a budget deficit in billions of 0 0.04. I want to see a budget surplus so we can start paying our debt off. That'd be really nice. All right. How's the police agency look? 153,000 manpower. Nothing is put into a cybersecurity task force. How? What would it cost to get that started? Can we at least like get a million dollars someplace in there? 1.8 million to get it started. So let's do that. And we've got our meeting with the President of the United States. All right, we're not going to try to offer him a coffee or anything. Um, Mr. Ronald Trump here does not like us. We already know that. Uh, maybe we can tell him that we love his landscapes. Yeah, I figured. Um, okay, so let's create a sales contract. Let's do the one thing that Ronald Trump here knows how to do. Let's try and do some contracts. So the United States, what are they going to, what would they want? What, what's the United States lacking? coal they have a massive consumption of coal we can sell them enough coal to make over a billion dollars that would like flip our whole economy and they have an average purchase price of 734 we have an average sales price of 316 now he's probably going to beat us up on price because he doesn't like us countries that have a higher favor to you tend to give you better pricing we're definitely not going to set it for our average sales price let's see if we can get him closer to his average buy because if we can get like that's 1.5 billion if we can get it around 1.2 yeah that would turn our whole economy around but yeah i refuse to sell it like super cheap there have been too many negotiations, so he's not going to let us negotiate this too much. Very aggressive about that. All right, let's see if we can at least get... I really like to get $1.2 billion. Wow, so five forty six is about what he's willing to pay? I'd be... Okay, let's try to sell some other stuff. Let's hold on to the coal. That We'll keep that in our back pocket. We know that can flip our economy and probably give us a budget surplus. We'll just keep the coal in our back pocket and we'll uh, try to use it for uh, maybe another country that has a large coal consumption and likes us. So we got a couple other trades coming up. We can hold off on that. How about wood? So they got a pretty large consumption. We can make a little money off of wood here. Yeah, you know, then. Okay, let's hold on to the wood too. Um, Because most of this stuff, we're going to get more money. We're going to get more money if we trade with a country that likes us. Okay, we can make almost a billion dollars in chemicals. All right, we got to trade something with the United States, but I don't want to trade our big money makers because the United States is just not going to give us a lot of money for them. But if we if we trade like some of these smaller things, like like uh, electrical materials, average sale price and purchase price are pretty close. If we could trade some of the smaller stuff, then we can uh, make money off of that. 61, that's unbelievable how about like at least 88 at least like 91 ah they're not gonna trade okay we're just gonna we're not gonna worry about it 
they're just not gonna do it. They just don't like us at all. They're they're not gonna tolerate trading with us. Oh boy. International meeting and security though, so that's good. Sedan. I know we got Thailand and Vietnam coming up. We could probably trade some coal to them. What countries are on the verge of flipping? We need allies here. We need allies in the East China Sea. Don't know if we're going to find an, an ally in the Philippines. They have a lot of issues with China in the East and South China Sea. All right, Thailand. No thing. All right, let's create a sales contract with Thailand. How about selling coal to them? So 1.5, see they're willing to give us, they're willing to start to trade off at a lot more money. Now their average purchase price is significantly lower though. And they're only willing to buy 4 million of it, but that will, that means we'll have coal left over to trade after. So let's try to get it a little bit higher. They'll be more willing to probably trade higher because we're allies, kind of. So 425, that's 1.7 billion. So that's pretty good. Was the one with the United States more than that? Was it like 10 billion? Was I reading it wrong? Because this seems off. Okay. 443, 458, that's right at their average purchase price. Let's go ahead and accept that. There we go, perfect. So that'll be some great money. Um, that's gotta flip us. That's gotta flip us here. All right, wood, yeah, we're better off selling that to the United States or something. How about chemical industry? That was our other big one. 893 million. They're willing to buy all of it. If we can get it closer to 3,000, it'd be in the billion, which is what I would want. Mm, they're probably not going to give that to us. Yep. What about... What about cereals? Now they got a lot of production. They'll probably have a lot of fish production. They're probably, they're gonna have. They're in Asia. They're gonna have a lot of the similar uh, similar stuff. Potatoes. Nope. They don't have as many potatoes. But sixty millions kind of low. Obviously, they're gonna have rice. And we sold our tobacco. Building housing and roadway, 400 million. They only want 323. Can we get it closer to the 157? Ooh. Okay, they accepted that. So 472 million. All right, so that's good. Cancel that. What does South Korea have for a military? Six hundred and thirty k. So their military is about half the size of ours. What? What about Japan? Two hundred forty-seven. That would be the defense, the island defense force, because Japan doesn't technically have like a full-fledged military. Um, uh, worst internet speed in the world. Yeah. Well, if we get a budget surplus, I'll spend the money. Oh, we do have a budget excess in billions, so we did flip it. Surplus as a percent of GDP, 1.11. Structural surplus, 3.65. So we've managed to flip it, actually. We do have a budget excess now in billions. So we're not in a deficit anymore. 73.1% because of public finances, getting it up there as a surplus. I have to tell you that I am filled with pride to be the mother of a leader who is so <laughs> loved by the people. Aw, thanks, Mom. Okay. Okay, Vietnam, yes, here's sure. a coffee. 
All right, let's see what Vietnam will buy. I think we had some coal still, but they produce plenty of coal. How about chemical or chemical industry? Oh yeah, they'll buy. They'll buy a lot. So let's see if we can get them closer to the 28. We can get over half a billion for that. Two, three, um, 29, 28, 71. Yep, 528. Let's take that. All right, what else? Um, tobacco we sold to Russia. We had a lot of wood. They produce a lot of wood, believe it or not. Um, railway construction we didn't have. I know housing and roadway. I think we sold most of this to America. Cereals. Cotton. Five million is not really going to do anything. Milk. We didn't have potatoes. 15 million. We'll hold on to that. Um, soda, no. Steel. Okay, they'll buy steel. If we can get up a little bit. They'll usually buy it at 919 or around there. Now two A yeah, we'll take that. 156. Okay. Anything else? That makes sense. I'd like to get some of these potatoes and, and the, the uh, rice and stuff sold. Water supply networks. Uh, no. Oh, we have iron. Oh, we've got a lot. we got a pretty large production. They've got a large consumption. 30 million is not a lot, though. We'll hold on to that. We can find somebody that will probably buy that. Okay. Perfect. Now it's our budget excess. It probably hasn't calculated yet. We got to wait for it to tick over. It won't be until like you know what, January, February, March that we'll get our quarterly. So we'll be able to see actually how much of an effect this has all had in our economy. We kind of see these short term effects of it. But yeah, we won't see the long term effects until later on. Okay. Who else? Uh, Cuba. Okay. We'll talk to them. Venezuela, oh boy, Bolivia, I think we'll just hold off on some of these. Don't think, what would Venezuela buy? Probably food. We could talk to them. Sometimes talking to these countries, these countries that are enemies with other countries is not good, but. Our people are very unhappy, yeah. You are with the seniors group? No, thanks. All right, how about champagne? Happy. Okay. You're charming. Yes. Will you speak highly of me? Okay. Yes, perfect. So senior citizen protections. She'll actually, usually senior citizens for whatever reason go nuts. So we should get a good bump from that. I'm hoping. We might not. I guess it depends on how many people are actually in the association. Because we got a good bump from the AIDS one. That's 214,000. Seniors is 860,000. So it should be pretty good. Surplus percentage now 1.2. Ah, a little bit of a boost. All right. Poverty in North Korea. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Happiness increase. Yeah, so people aren't happy, but there has been a happiness increase. So where can we see... Uh, where can you actually see happiness? I'm trying to remember. I think you actually... We click here. Yeah, right here. So gross national happiness for North Korea... It's going up. We're, we're super ranked low, though. National wealth going up. So that's good because I've, I've uh, freed up a lot of money. Health has gone up. 
Environment stagnant, education, purchasing power, employment's going up, so that's good. Human rights. So we could probably help out with education at least. Our infiltrated agent was spot. Ah crap, they killed our agent. Alright, we'll give it another try to infiltrate. According to a multi-proportional curve, population fears the armed force is highly concerned about the increase of mil military expenditure. Yeah, and then we got to invest in internet, but I really don't want to turn the budget around just yet. We finally got a budget excess. I just want to maintain it for a bit. The structural surplus. We got a very strong economy. We're spending a lot in military. We keep getting that nice public finance boost. We could do environmental stuff that'd give us a boost, but people are are concerned about purchasing power, civil rights, and education. What does education look like right now? Pretty good. Correspondence courses, we could dump some money, teacher training. This isn't bad. This is pretty good education. I wanted to inform. Okay, let's drop some money into correspondence courses. This stuff's pretty cheap. Teacher training, though, one million. All right, so let's do that. And Cuba, so here's a coffee. Let's go ahead and do a sales contract with Cuba. I bet they would, would, wouldn't mind having some Maybe food? Paper. Okay. Rice. They don't want to buy it for whatever... Oh, we actually have a larger consumption. Okay, so that would be why... We have a surplus of potatoes, though, but they're not going to give us any money for that. They're not even going to buy. Let's see. Oh, they don't have to buy that much. That's why. Uh, all right. Building, housing, and roadway construction. We still have some left over. They're willing to give us a lot for that. So why don't we try to get that up to the their average purchase price here, which is pretty high. 148, 154. Ooh, okay. Let's, can we stick to 154 then? 54. Okay. Try that again. Ah, they keep going backwards. So I guess that's the highest I'm going to get it. So we'll just stick with that. It's pretty good money still regardless. Oh, damn it. Sixty eight, one sixty one, one fifty two, maybe like one fifty four. I don't know. Give us a little bit more. Okay, so four hundred forty million. Cement, but they they don't give us a whole lot of money for most of this. fish okay steel 122 million we still have some steel left over cereals 70 million we have a lot of cereal. We could sell them some of it. They'll give us 218 for it if we can get it up that high. 204. 213. Yeah, I'll actually accept that. Okay. All right, so that's it with Cuba. We still got some money freed up. Well, we should get a tick here for education. 
Yep, 6.4%. Watch out for growth. The morale of consumers is not at its best. The purchasing power of the working class limits them to buying basic necessities and stores are far from making money. It's therefore the economy you will see that will set the pace. No doubt it would be good to stimulate growth by vigorous relaunch of consumption while also improving the household purchasing power, which we do need to increase purchasing power. Now that we got a pretty big surplus, I'd like to wait till maybe March to get the quarterly uh, report on our growth before I increase purchasing power. Increasing purchasing power, we could lower some taxes like income tax to increase purchasing power or we can raise salaries. What's the army making right now? Oh, let's do our meeting with Venezuela. Sure. Oh God, okay. Oh, Venezuela. Oh, what do you guys want? Let's start with cereals. Yeah, you'll take anything that's food. Your consumption is just going to be uh, through the roof with a lot of this. Potatoes, I bet. Not as much. Cereals, though. You definitely want cereals. And you can, you'll, you'll give us some money. You'll give us a good amount of money for it. And we've got a lot of cereals to sell. Do you even have the money to buy this stuff? They're probably going to beat us up on price pretty bad. Yeah. Try that again. I messed that up. Cereals. All right, let's start off. You said 200. Let's start with 230. Let's go to 224. 194 is pretty close. I probably won't get any better than that. Uh, 194 would have been good. Two hundred sixty-nine. Okay. So I got to take 194. That's all I'm going to get out of them. 187. So if I get 194, we're going. 195. Ooh, 204. Okay. All right. What else? I think we said potatoes. What about chemical? Just to check. 440 million. Um, we've still got a little bit left, huh? Oh yeah, if we can sell it for, if we can get it close to that purchase price, wow, their purchase prices are high. I doubt we'll get it, I doubt we'll get it there. 26, pretty close, 29, 27, 28, 51, 2705, they went back. We'll take it for 531 million though, it's pretty good. Okay, potatoes was one. Potatoes, they probably don't need coal. I know they have a lot of oil. Oh, they do need coal. They have no production and 10 million consumption. We can make almost a billion dollars or more off of coal if we can get it where we want it. Okay, let's definitely try to get coal where we want it. 408's pretty good. Can we get... 421. Yeah, I'm not going to push it. That's good. It's over a billion. That's what I want. We'll accept that. Good. And we still have a ton of coal left over that we can uh, sell to other people. All right. Anything else we can sell? Venezuela here just dishing out the money right now. They don't have it, but they're giving it to us. They got like a 400% inflation rate. We can actually look at their country. Um, What about building housing and roadway construction? Nope. Okay. Rice. Because we've got a lot of rice. We haven't found anybody to buy it. Oh, no. That's because we have a higher consumption. That's what I forgot. If if anything, we've got to buy rice. Oh, we've got a large production of corn. I'm not going to sell that, though. We're going to hold on to our food. Okay, I think we're done with Venezuela. And I think we're done with this episode as well. Not bad. By the second episode, I've already gotten a budget excess of... Uh, half a billion here. So that's pretty good. We've got some free money. Some free money we'll be able to use up. We have increased the nation's budget in general by four million. Uh, mainly because of some of the things we've changed. We're probably going to increase that as well. I want to start getting some high speed internet and stuff. So we'll get our approval rating even higher. Um, I don't know where to cut. I want to increase research. We did increase education a bit. There's a couple of things I want to mess with, but I got to find places to cut too. 
if we really if we want to really grow the economy we could probably increase the tax on company turnover and start lowering the company tax uh, that'll help with unemployment at least well, there's a deforestation tax what kind of taxes don't we have a vehicle registration we can't tax an internet access we don't even have internet really financial transactions a ta uh, tobacco tax pet tax okay so that's something to think about and we've got to buy food yeah we'll need to buy, buy, buy some food All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here, though, since we are out of time. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.